Hey, this is OCG Josh, and we are playing Pokemon Go. Uh, welcome to the channel, and I don't know what to say much about this. This is the fact that I'm trying to see how well this works on my phone, and if it works well, I might actually take it out to a park and um, play some Pokemon Go out there. Let you guys uh, come along with that adventure. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you like it, then uh, please leave a like down below. If you absolutely hate it, then uh, leave a dislike. You know, the dislikes really do tell me what you guys don't like. And I don't see them as much as a... As like, uh, people just hating on me. As more of a, you just don't like this type of thing that I'm doing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let me know what you think. This is, again, a test video. If it goes well, I might do this, like, on weekends or something and bring this out to you guys and show you, like, kind of like my home park that I usually go to and let you guys know how my Pokemon Go goes. I do play this a awful lot now lately. I kind of just sit here in my apartment a lot of Pokemon pop up every once in a while. So, and then I have a pretty decent-sized park just down the road a little ways so uh, yeah I'm not too high of level as you can I'll show you in a second I'm level need level 21 with my little friend Magikarp right there I need to name him what should I name Magikarp leave that in the comments down below if you want me to name this Magikarp a certain name uh, I guess if you leave a name down below and the one the name that gets the most likes We'll, uh, we'll come to Magikarp's name. <clears throat> no, but here's a few stats, just, you know, give you a general sense of where I'm at in this game. Uh, I'll show you my strongest Pokemon. We'll just go with the CP. Uh, Gengar right now, I caught him in a raid yesterday. He is pretty powerful. He has fairly decent stats, I think. Uh... Overall really strong, his best quality is HP, he definitely got some good uh, stats. Definitely, I don't know why he says definitely twice. It just seems a little repetitive. Uh, your Gengar is a little small for his kind, don't you think? Uh, I'll see you later. Yeah, Gengar is a little small. My uh, new Pokemon pop up? Nope, I just got a text from the girlfriend. Uh, who is one I'm really trying to work on right now? see like that this guy right here my magic carp my buddy i level them all the way up just because whenever i evolve them to a gyarados i want him to be like already really powerful uh jungle 420 is my username just in case you guys ever find me i am team instinct i know probably the least liked team but you know that's all right uh overall your magic carp looks like you can really battle with the best of them his best quality is his HP, his tax grade 2, uh, its stats are the best I've seen, no doubt about it. Magikarp's a big one. Even though it doesn't have the XL uh, little thing by it, he, the professor still considers him big. I also have a really high Dratini that I'm going to work on, I think. Uh, looks like he can battle with best attack, defense is grade 2. See, he's probably going to be my raid one. He has... He's really large, which I think affects the HP, then the attack and defense, so he can really, you know, get in there, do some damage, and yeah. And I think the last one that's really good on these stats is going to be my Kadabra, which, thanks to this Halloween special going on right now, I can catch a ton of Abras. So I think getting this guy to Alexam and fully leveling him up is not going to be hard at all. So... Uh, he has high HP and uh, high defense, so I think he's probably going to be like the gym defender. I'll put him in the gym, he's going to defend it, and he's just going to outlast everything. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at on all of these. Uh, the ones with the stars are the ones that usually are, the professor says, really strong, or can battle with the best of them. Uh, the rest of them are kind of, they're going to be eventually my transfer Pokemon. I'll transfer them away, get and stuff. I'm not too much into the collecting them. I'm more into the getting the strongest ones and using them for like raids and everything. That is pretty much how I play Pokemon in general. 
Uh, if you ever seen like my Soul Silver team, I just literally built a team, and that is the only thing I worried about in there. Um, besides that, I don't really have much more on this. Like I said, I uh, I played this a little bit when it first came out, then I kind of stopped, and now I'm slowly getting back into it. And the town that I live at has this park where it's just pokey stops everywhere. Um, yeah, and there's all my eggs. I need to hatch that 10 kilometer egg. But I'm thinking about getting the smaller ones out of the way first and hatching the really big one. We'll see though. Ooh, what's near us? Not much. But yeah, in this little spot right here, usually a lot of Pokemon pop up every once in a while. Right now there's none, sadly. And then down that way, way back there is a really big park. Well, it's not really big, it's just a park that, for whatever reason, has a lot of Poke stops in it. So. Uh, that's just a rundown right now. This is, again, a test video. If you hear my cats in the background, they are attacking each other like they do every morning. This is like their exercise. Um, Silas is much bigger than Vera. They are both at the age where they're going to stop growing, too. I know you can't see them, but... Yeah, so he just kind of dominates their little play fights. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I want to figure out how to turn off this... Um... Uh,